In this video, we will look at an example on valuing a variance swap and calculating the settlement amount at expiration. So let's say Marco longs a $100,000 Vega Notional of a one-year variance swap on the S&P 500 at a strike of 22% quoted as annual volatility. Now, two months have passed and the S&P 500 has experienced a realized volatility of 14% in annualized terms. On the same day, the phase strike of a new 10th month variant swap on the S&P 500 is 26%. Determine the current value of the variant swap for Marco and assuming an interest rate of 3.5%. So let's draw the timeline so it's clearer. So when Marco entered into the variant swap, okay, it was for a one year period okay, or a 12 month period. And now two months have passed. So I'll just write this as month two. So this is where Marco is at now. And we are calculating the value of the swap to Marco at month two. So what we have in uh, the information is that for the past two months, for the past two months, the realized volatility is 14%. And if we were to enter into a new 10th month variant swap, then the fair strike that we will get here Okay, this is the new strike for the ten, next 10 months is 26%. So to calculate the current value of the variance swap, uh, we will need a few steps. So step one is to calculate the variance notional. Okay, and the variance notional is based on the Vega notional divided by 2 times the strike. So the Vega notional is 100,000. So that's 100,000. And we divide by 2 times the strike, which is 22%, but we'll just leave out the percentage. So this will be 2,272.73. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take the average variance for the 12 month period. So the weightage that we'll assign here is for 2 over 12 for the realized variance. Okay, and we'll take the remaining 10 over 12 for the fair strike of a new variance swap. So the weighted average variance here will be 2 over 12 multiplied by 14 square plus 10 over 12 multiplied by 26 square. So this will be equals to 596. So we are done. We can now calculate the value of the variance swap. We will need to calculate what is the expected payoff at expiration. So the expected payoff at expiration is equals to the variance notional, which is uh, 2,272.73. Then we multiply by the weighted average variance, which is 596 minus the strike squared, which is 22 squared. Okay, so this is equals to 254,545.76. So this is what we will expect at expiration, which is at month 12, but we need to discount it back to month 2. So the value of the variance swap would then be the payoff, expected payoff, which is 254.545.76. And we'll discount it back by 10 months using the annual interest rate 3.5%. So that's uh, 10 over 12 months. So this would be equals to 247,331.91. So this is the value to the long party and Marco is taking a long position here. So he will have a positive value in the swap. If uh, Marco has a short position, then this would be a negative 247,000. Now in the same example, let's say if you want to determine the settlement amount at expiration of the swap, if let's say the one year realized volatility is 30%, so that means that at the end of that one year, or at month 12 so over this whole period the volatility is 30 uh, percent so using the similar formula as we used previously the payoff at expiration will be based on the vega notional which is 2272.73 and then we'll multiply by the realized variance which is 30 and then we square it okay for the variance minus the strike squared so this would be equals to $945,455.68 and this is the payoff to the long in the swap 
Okay, if it's a short position, then it will be a negative 945,000.